Imagine having an enemy that has a position of influence in your child's life and knowing that that person sends you notes and messages every now and then. If you don't do this, if you don't do that, that boy is dead. Real quick, I, I I have to go back uh, to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house of um, yeah. And he was, that was quiet. the worst part of that yeah, To see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was, the, that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He left their son yeah. to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Thank God Kimura got the girls. Yeah. Misa's son. Misa and Wolf's son. <laughs> Man. And Quincy's missing. Quincy's missing. Oh. And lastly, after he was questioned by the feds, after I wouldn't be surprised if he was in witness protection right now, which means his father ain't never going to see him again. Have we seen the last or is this just the beginning of that saga? It's just getting started. True. Which is why I think people are so uncomfortable about me being in this position right now because of my press pass and because I'm going to be in the courtroom for the Keefe D trial. If we get to the bottom of Tupac's murder. Mm -hmm. When that is finally revealed. 15 other murders will be revealed with it. And you will find that they were all committed by the same two people, father and son. Were you surprised by Keefe D's arrest for Tupac's murder? No. I'm just surprised that he hasn't given it up yet. I'm surprised that he hasn't gone to the feds yet because he just got stabbed in jail. Yes, he did. He's been beaten three times. And I'm going to say it for a fact. I know you the one pulling the strings. Reggie Wright Jr. Stop putting your dirty work on other people. You know exactly what the fuck you are. And so help me God if you don't keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With, um... The last time you were on the couch, you had mentioned, and it's crazy that you say these things. You talk about Bad Boy. You speak yeah. on Heavy D. You speak on Albie Shore. Yeah. And you say, like, look who's standing. And now Albie Shore is now, he's being cryptic. Not too cryptic, but he's now. He's very cryptic. He's very cryptic. But, but he's, speaking he's speaking louder than he's ever spoken before. Ever. And the reason why he's cryptic is for the sake of his son. Imagine having an enemy that has a position of influence in your child's life and knowing that that person sends you notes and messages every now and then. If you don't do this, if you don't do that, that boy is dead. Allegedly. Imagine that. Imagine the nigga that your baby mom is fucking. Is telling you. That if you don't do what he wants you to do, he's going to kill your child. And you know he's capable of it. Allegedly. Story in the Bible. Two women had two babies. Mm -hmm. One woman went to sleep, rolled over on her baby, killed her baby. The other woman's baby was just fine. The woman whose baby died, she got up, she went and stole the baby from her, her roommate. Then they fought over who the mother was. They went before the king, King Solomon. 
You heard both sides of the story and say, give me a knife. Give me a sword. He got the sword and he was like, I'm going to cut the baby in half and each of you can have a piece and then we'll be done with it. It was the real mother that said, don't harm that baby. She can have him. Wow. Why is nobody willing to accept as monstrous as people are finding out that Diddy is now that he wouldn't be willing to split Quincy in half. Because he would. Yeah, he said some years ago, like during a TV show, that he would like harm his own mother to get what he wanted or some, something along those lines. So, Well, I don't blame him for wanting to harm that. She's his victimizer and his pimp. She is first pimp.